G'day guys, my name's Josh, yo, kid call me Jawoodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die in Alpha 19, we're about to continue the Eclipse series into Day 6, we're coming up very quickly on the Blood Moon Horde, which even though the entire world is nighttime all the time, at the moment the Blood Moon Horde still runs the same as normal, it's one of the important things that uh, I needed the mod to do from Kane to make the game still run as normal, even though the sun never actually rises, so from 2200 to 4 a.m. is still going to be horde night, just kind of horde part of the night, I suppose. But that means that I've got not a lot of time to prepare for it. So, what are we going to do today? Today is going to be airdrop day, actually. There will be an airdrop coming in. I hope I can go and scavenge that from the landscape somewhere. But I also want to go see Trady Potato, go turn in that quest from that waterworks place that I did uh, yesterday, which was all the way down there. It was a bit of an ordeal, a much bigger ordeal than I was expecting it to be, but hey, you know, we got through it by the skin of our ball sack, but we managed to get through it all the same. So we'll go and turn it into Trader Potato today. We'll hopefully buy some XP goggles so I can make myself a bike, or maybe just buy a bike. We'll see how we go. But I've still got a skill point in my pocket in case I find something better to spend it on between now and then. But it is now after 4 a.m., the traditional starting point for a day of seven days. So let's get out there and get cracking. It may still be a starry, starry night, but that doesn't mean that I can't go and be productive. Let's go and start heading out. Oh, chicken there as well. Oh, I've got plenty of meat. I've got plenty of meat for the moment and nothing to cook with it. Can't make grilled meat, can't make bacon and eggs, or in that case, I guess chicken breast and eggs. Just chicken and younger chicken, I suppose. Can't make any of those yet. So I do have that skill point left over at the end. I might buy Master Chef. Just kind of scan the horizon. I might even take the long way around. Might take a long way around and just avoid the sweaty gooch of the desert, you know? I'd rather not, you know, have to like drip out of my bloody ass hair. I would rather go around, have a nice relaxing walk through the trees and not melt into a puddle. I suppose then, like I have been rolling around assuming that I need to kind of balance protection, but I've lived next to the desert. I've got my, my poncho on already. Maybe I should be focusing on clothes that give me better heat resist. I'm still wearing bloody uh, plant fiber pants. That's interesting. Um, you know, we should focus on something like that rather than we'll just kind of balance kind of stuff. I guess it doesn't really matter. I still need some chest armor for goodness sake as well. Can I make myself chair? That's how you spell that at all. Chest armor, padded chest armor, cloth fragments and tape. I can make it only tier one. I'm finding better stuff at the moment anyway. I might hold off for that. Maybe I'll spec into light armor at some point that I can make slightly better ones. Oh, is it worth it going all around the lake? Oh, yep, sod it. Sod it. Screw it, Josh. Just like nut up or shut up and make your way through the desert. Yes, we get a bit swampy, but that's okay. Alligators won't move in for a little while. Won't be that much bite just yet. I was expecting it to take longer and I've made it to Trades with still an hour to go until he opens his doors. Let's get out of the desert and try and get out of here. No one around. No, we're good. I was going to linger just out of view. Just out of view, just out here. Away from the sand, away from the scorching heat. Just the other side of the road. In fact, you know what? Maybe. I've got a little bit of time up my sleeve. Is this, is this like a remnant or is this like a proper house? It looks like a remnant, but it looks like it's something out of compo pack. There are torches out the front though, so I might... Oh god, you just spawned in just then. That's less than ideal. Was quickly murder you. But I'm going to take these candles home with me so I can light up my bunker just a little bit better. Can I pick you up or do I have to swat you? I'll swat you. I don't mind. I'm okay with that. I'll kill all the inhabitants and take all of your lighting just to really rub salt into that gaping zombified wound. I love that all these zombies have spawned like around the outside of the building. So as long as I'm actually in the POI, they won't hear me. So I can just <laughs> simply go around the outside of this place and murder each and every single one of them. You're going to give my arrow back, but that's fine. That should be... Oh, great. Some more brass. It's a scrap. It take eight years to do. That should be all the Muppets outside waiting for me. Check all the rubbish though in case there's some sneaky lockpicks. Oh, I woke up someone inside. It's a cowboy. That's fine. Oi, you want to come out here? There you go. There you go. Proud of you. But let's put down some light so we can actually see it properly. All right, that's not great. That's not great. I know you weren't really in the mood to defend yourself because clearly you're not the man that I could have been. Don't know why Arlene chose her for me, but you did. How does that reach through? His come on. Come on, buddy boy. God, I hate the hitboxes in this game sometimes. Clearly, that was a gaping opening, just like your fucking neck hole is now. But for some reason, the game was like, yeah, but imagine if you couldn't stab through there. Imagine if that was a solid bit of air, just because you want to dick you around a bit. No one else around. Looks like the cowboy had a cheeky snack. Does Arlene know about this, bud? Does Arlene know that you've been going south and having a good old munch on some other woman zombie? 
I feel like she might. Looks like a bit too vigorous about it as well. A little bit too carried away there, bud. I'm not sure she enjoyed that as much as you think she did. Nothing in there. Anyone hiding in these back rooms at all? Not really. I mean, the tray potato would have just opened at 6.05. But I've got time. I've got time. I don't know what kind of quest it's going to give me after the fact. But, I mean, if I were to this one while I'm here, maybe it will send me here to do a job. You never know. Sneaky peas. Take you for later. Don't have to eat you right now because I'm pretty well fed. We're well nourished for the moment. Nothing in the corner either. All right. We're fine. Just take your time, Josh. No rush. More candles. And Arlene. Wow. Wow, cowboy. Arlene was just having a nice little kip upstairs on maybe the couch, I suppose. And you came out and you brought someone else home with you. I mean, I knew you were always heckin' rude, but that's even pretty bad, even for you. <sighs> just give me a spell, would ya? Give me a goddamn spell. Bonds are mate level eight. Someone's woken up, but I don't know where. Arlene's still not awake yet, though. So if I can, I want to try and kill her before anyone else comes up here. Get on top of the bloody pot plant, please. There you go. Tough shot, but made it work for me. Okay, well, everyone's already awake. I'll take the arrows back that I can. Thank you very much. Oh, you're coming this way? All right, that's fine. Come into the light. Come in where I'm waiting for you. I'm okay with that, mister. As long as I can see you first before you see me, I'm fine. I really do talk a whole lot of smack, don't I? Whenever I'm fighting zombies or doing anything, really, it's not just, you know, the knife or my gun or whatever else I've got that's going to do the damage. I also have to spit some hot fire as well. Hurt them with words as well. I mean, not really words. I guess making more of a fool of myself than ever, really. Stumbling through basic sentences like the galah that I am. Some sauce, some cornmeal for once I might actually take you because you might actually be useful. Although, no, who am I kidding? Cornmeal's never useful. Plus, I've got corn seeds back home. If I need it, I can make it, but I don't need it, nor do I want it. Any purse guns? Any derringers? No? Come on. Oh, my God. Oh, that scared me. Okay, well, let's get out of here somehow and quickly put some torches down so I can see. Stab you in the dick. Groin the groin. Other groin. Chest. And head. All right, well, fair enough then. He spawned right in front of me. I was too busy getting distracted by the fact that there's two cracker books up the very top there. That's will hopefully give me some books. I found a good book last time. Passing gas as well. Wow, that's a... For a remnant, this place is fucking stacked with some good stuff. Candles all over the place as well. See, this feels a little cheap. I'm not going to lie. This feels like it's too easy. This is too much loot for too easy of a POI. I mean, I guess it's kind of like it's going to balance out because loot early game is kind of bananaed anyway, so you're not going to get too much good stuff early days. But even so, for a little sneaky remnant like this, this is, I feel like this is too much stuff. You know what I mean? Like, I want to earn what I get. You know, I don't want to come across something just like, you know, it's like finding a random uh, reinforced chest or something out in the middle of nowhere that actually doesn't have any defense at all. You're just going to get good loot for not doing anything out of it. But even so, I'm in a situation where I can't uh, really beg, or I will beg, what have you got for me? Padded boots, tier 5 as well, and some chest armor, which I don't have at all right now. Thank you very much. You are better than that one, so let's swap you for that one. Thank you. I can now sell you for all $11 that you're worth. Weird things to find in a shotgun crate, but hey, I'm not complaining. Here we go. Oh, God. Oh. There's a bear somewhere. Let's make this quick. I've opened up all of the boxes. Nothing in you. Already done those ones. What's the other gun store box? A spear that I don't need and some ammo. Ooh, a blueberry pie and some frothies and some red tea. It's like a really good bloody shamo box. So, <laughs> unusually, the shamo box was the best thing there. $40 worth of, uh, of knuckle wraps there. Not a lot of else. Please make this quick before that bear comes upstairs and ruins my face. Forge seal, thank you very much. In the parts box, a fat stack of repair kits. A honey knife schematic I've already read, but that's fine. I'll take it anyway. Something else to sell. Uh, what's that? Stun button parts? Yeah, I'll sell them too because I'm never ever going to freaking use them. Another shamo box with some more tea and frothies. Oil recipe. All right, not bad. Uh, last bookstore box as well. Hunter volume 4, already done. First aid bandages. That's a good one to find too. And some scrap polymers. All right. What a really good place. Maybe the bear was who was guarding all this stuff then. Maybe the bear is mad that I've come up and taken all these gubs. Do you reckon I can outrun him? I hope I can. I'm going to try anyway. Probably have a whole lot of luck. I'm going to give it my bettest and hottest of cracks. I'm making the trade potatoes. I'll have sanctuary. But the house is yours. Paint it blue and take it for your own. You could be the bear in the relatively big blue house. I'm going to piss off somewhere else. Here we go. Nice and quick. Only a couple of hours late. But you know what, bud? You make me wait all the time. I'll wait for you. That's, that's, that's a terrible system, actually. It's like a freaking doctor. Although, you're definitely allowed to wait for the... Oh, God. 
how many of you did I just draw the ire of? I wasn't really uh, in anticipating this much of a response, but all right, fair enough. Then can I put a torch down so I can see? No, I can't. All right, never mind then. I'll just stab you through the fence either way. Damn it, that's the wood. There we go, sort you out. This is why I was hoping to get to here in case the bear didn't follow me. You're a feral boy, so you look really mean. Can I just have a look at you? Look at you. Look at you, you angry sack of shit. You can sit up there and swat all you want. I'll just sit here and laugh in your face. You know what? Here, have this. And that. There you go. Now we're cooking. Now we're burning. Now it looks like you've had a good long night with Owls and the Cowboy. And you're exhausted too. Probably fair enough. Welcome, Survivor. Thank you. you to look around. I do feel for- Did you see what I just did for you down the bottom there, big boy? You better give me a fucking good discount. I've defended your base here to give me some love. Quickly check your bookcase, because everyone yelled at me not checking it last time. Uh, leg shots crippled, but the, uh, all but the strongest, so not demos, but sure enough, I'll take you. Any book's a good book by my measure. Speaking of books, you're gonna give me another one. Plenty of- wait, hang on. Uh, bandages- figure out how to weave plant fibers into cloth. I hate that this one sticks the actual use of the book somewhere in the blurb, but I can't bother reading. Okay, that's good. Uh, although Gravedigger mod, I'm sure I'll find at some point. I'd rather take the book. Always take the book because they're rarer. What jobs do you have for me this time, Knackers? You got... 100 meters to the north of clear zombies? Earning 100 meters? You can help me with a problem. Custom cliff house? Okay. Right. I look forward to seeing you again. It's the house I was just at. The fucking dope ass loot house. The one with no defenses and all the loots. I was thinking to myself when I was there as well. It's going to be funny if I'm clearing this now and then trying to pretend he sends me back immediately. Turns out he sent me back fucking immediately. Absolutely freaking lootly, laddie boy. Uh, well, first and foremost, here. Actually, Thanks no, before anyways. we do that, read the books and accidentally sell it. Anything here that I want to keep. Now we're looking all pretty good there. We're looking all pretty fine. All right, no whackers. Can I see inventory? Sell all of this to you. Take it all off my hands, please. And give me all the dollar dues. Might actually repair yeah, you before I do. Now. Tier four. Repair kits are worth quite a lot, but repairing that one might actually give me a fair bit more chunk of change. Hey, we're looking. What are you now? 272. I feel like it was definitely worthwhile. Sell all the rest of this garbage. Set the torches for some reason. Nice. What have you got? Bullet casings. Tempting. But... Oh, wait. Did I see what I thought I saw? The mining helmet. The mining helmet with the mod. Just sell me the mod. Can we just make a deal? Just whip it out and sell me that. Or give you $1,000 for just the mod. I don't want to waste the extra though for something I'm not going to use. There they are. The nerdy gogs. They're definitely worthwhile for me. Plus, like, you know, the extra XP and stuff like that. All good things. So, buy you. Thank you. In fact, while I'm here, I'm doing the rest of my stuff here. Let's put the XP goggles on. Let's see inventory and buy some other stuff. That's all the stuff I just sold to you. Nothing here that I need. Lots of candles. Bud just took a whole bunch of candles and I'm going to reset the POI. I'm going to have candles for freaking days. The candles increase. This might attract zombies. Okay. Well, I was about to ask the candles increase heat. That line there makes me think it probably does. Uh, maybe not as much as a torch though. Had to actually look that up, I guess. What else is in here? Anything of note? Not really. Can't afford the helm uh, the mining helmet anymore. I was considering maybe just buying it regardless. Nothing else really fun. All right. That's fine. Luckily, loot volume seven. More medical supplies and loot. You are a thousand dollar dues. I don't have much money to spare, but I always do like buying what I can. Um, I think. I think that's about all that I need out of here for the moment. So maybe I will, in interest of future, Josh, buy that, buy that, and buy the ammo. Can I? How, how much? I wish I just got to like the maximum that I could actually buy. Hey. 40. Mm, sure. Let's buy that one too. Spending all my dollar reduced. We've got 100 left over because I'll find some health bars somewhere. Rest of that can all piss off. That's fine. It's We're good. We're golden. You Cheers, mate. There, Just trying to set you on fire. Trying to make you look as hot as you are. Let's get out of here. Let's get back into the temperate biome. Let's go back to the loot house and see what we can get. This is going to be a productive day. Or it's going to give me nothing. Because that's just how seven days roll sometimes. While we're at it, quickly grab some wood out of here. I know it's dark as dicks, but that's just kind of the price you pay for this game mode at the moment. <gasps> I just realized as well. Oh, I left the house to the bear. I'm reneging on my promise. I was like, you know what, Barry boy, you can have it. And then I pissed off somewhere else. And now I'm going to have to take it back from the bear. He's going to be none too plus about that. He's going to be really bloody mad at me. Although I don't hear him. Is he still here or is he gone away? Also. Oh. Wait, what? Is it giving me... Is this giving me credit 
for the quest I've already done then. Because there's no exclamation point now and it's telling me to go back home. Head to the rally point, activate rally point. Or do I have to go far enough away? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to leave because it's going to like, if I leave the place, it's going to take it off me. Okay. I'm going to do what you tell me to. Because I'm, I'm not part of Rage Against the Machine. Why, why is it being weird? Why are you being weird? I'm thinking maybe it's just that I didn't go far enough away. Oh my god. Oh. What are you doing there, Paparino? That was something out of a fucking horror film. I heard a noise. I turned around. Somehow missed the dog with that one. And there's just the shadow of a pup standing where I was three seconds ago. That was not what I was anticipating at all there. Oh, get wrecked. Get absolutely wrecked. Okay, now that we've murdered the demon pup, I'm thinking maybe I just didn't go far enough away from the house to start. We're just gonna head back home, drop off all the good loot that I just got, and then come back for it. And maybe that'll work out a little bit better for me. Well, it does say on the map to go talk to old mate. Maybe I'll just try that first. I don't understand. I don't understand why it didn't work. Other times I've got the quest and I've gone there and hasn't done weird things like that. Or maybe I can just turn to that quest quick smart and not really have to worry about it at all. Up, up, up. But I'm back again. I know it hasn't been very long. You gonna give me a reward? No? Well, what the nipple do you want me to do then here? It's almost midday, not midnight, even though it is night time. So the plane is about to come over, I think. It's every three days, isn't it? The plane? I thought it was. I was expecting it to be. I guess I was wrong about that. I was trying to go back to the middle of town so that when the plane did come over, it had dropped the, uh, the package not too far away. Put some of that down so I can actually see who I'm fighting. How you doing? Stabby, stabby. Stabby dead. Nice. Can't wait to get a better knife. If I start getting to the point where I can start one-shotting mups, so we're going to be in some serious business. Whew. Wait. What do I have you marked then? If there's nothing in the box. Let's get rid of you. Because there's nothing fucking in there. All right. Never, never mind then. Almost home. Let's just do that then. Hopefully by the time I get back out there. Although the exclamation point still isn't there though. I don't... I don't understand. Head to rally point. Is it somewhere else now? Check on map. So the quest not have a, sh a location to show. I... Is it broken? Have I just been dicked over? I mean, I would love to have raided that place again. It was an easy raid and some good loot. I'll go back and check it again, but if it's all over Red Rover, then I guess just fuck me too. Actually, while I'm here and while I've got my XP gogs on, let's do the thing. I've got a two skill points to spend now. So Grease Monkey uh, level one can now make bicycles. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, the other point, let's go back into agility. Is it time to go gunslinger? I don't think it probably is. Let's go... Uh, parkour. Maybe what do you give me? Stamina cost by jumping 10%. No. I, mean, I want to get most of the stuff to T1 before I start leveling up, I suppose. Although just an extra level of agility means that when I go and put these bad boys back on... This is the, this is the, the, the discussion, you know? Do I have the agility gogs for better stabbing or the XP gogs to get more from the stabbing? So... Not really sure what the best way to go about that's going to be, but I'm glad that I have both of them. One, two, three. Let's keep the six. Let's swap you for that one. Don't need to keep my money on me at all times, I don't think. Let's go back and see if we can do that questy now. Oh, there's so much go uh, going on all the time. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I take it back. I take it back. What do I need for a bicycle? There we go. Forged iron, mechanical parts, duct tape. Let's start working on this. Now, I've got the ability to do it now. I've got the workbench not far away. Okay, I can't remember. I really wish there was a way to like make like a, a production queue. I want to say, I want to make this and this, and then I can go to the chest and say, give me everything for my production queue. And it just fucking does it. Like fucking space engineers, make it easier for me. Oh, I just realized as well, I need to make wheels. And wheels are annoying to make, aren't they? Wheel, uh, forged iron. I don't have any forged iron. So that's a real big problem. Maybe I can sort it out though. So I need two bottle of acids, 20 coal. I don't think I have that much coal on me. There is that burp bomb. Never mind. I do have that much coal on me. Coal, uh, two bits of acid. Lovely, lovely. What else do I need from it? Uh, oil should have plenty of that. Where was the oil? Oil. There it is. In fact, didn't I need like six? No, it needed four. Never mind. Do I need wheels or anything else? Actually, I'm not sure. Check that in a second. Scrap polymers and forged iron. Don't know why I need forged iron for it, but sure, just dick me over anyway. How many polymers do I need? Need 32. There we go. You can put those ones back in the box. Just trying to get the exact amount that I need so I'm not wasting any inventory space. Okay, I think I have everything now. I have the stuff to make the handlebars, which is lovely dovely. Um, however, I need to go find the workbench to do that. It takes only 30 seconds. 
But I still need, I need five forged iron there. Got everything else I need. Got the mechanical parts for that one. And I've got everything I need, I think, for the wheels. But I need four forged iron. So I need nine forged iron. I've got the wrench. Where do I get forged iron from? I know, like, the, oh, there was, like, the mechanics place is not far away. Hey. And there were, like, those, like, the tops of power lines or axles, whatever you want to call them. And they do give some pretty good stuff. All right. That gives me hope, though. That gives me hope. That gives me a chance. Let's go have a crack at that pineapple pizza. Put you back down there. Let's get all the plosions going as well. Thank God for pop filters. Um, do you get forged iron from cars? I don't think you do. And I don't have a forge. In fact, well, there's one easy way to check. Let's just check with this one here first. In the middle of my freaking yard. So I may as well give that one a red, hot, tasty crack. See what you give me. If I get forged iron in this, I might be in business. But I don't think I'm going to. Now, nope, no forged iron, although interestingly, other than gas and iron, just all the stuff you need to make a bicycle, which is kind of fun. Let's uh, get out of here then and head off over, which one was these ones over here, wasn't it? So we're heading down over that way. Yep, turn left out of the door, no whackers, and see what we can find. Keep an eye out for anything on the ground that might help you, Josh. You need forged iron. Might check the garage there as well. <gasps> wasn't there a broken workbench around here somewhere? Broken workbenches would give me some stuff that I need. Was it in here? If it is, I'll be very, very grateful. Don't think so, though. No, it's an empty garage. Dang it. Okay. All right, that's fine. Although, that... no, it's not the workbench house. Where was it? I know there were some things around. I want to find it. Make sure you watch out for landmines here, Josh. We know that from last time. That's already empty. The other problem here as well... I'll get around that. Fine. Duck under the bloody roof then if you have that much trouble with it. The other problem here is going to be that, you know, anyone coming up behind me, stepping on those landmines, is going to do just as much damage to me as I would if I tickled them. Here we go. This is the thing that I needed. Mechanical parts, forged steel. I needed iron. There we go. There's one. <laughs> this is going to take a while. This is going to take a whole fucking while. One. Oh, no. All right. Cool fucking bananas. I need more than that to make one wheel. Dang, this is going to take forever. Just going to sneak through this place just next door. Thank you for giving your life to my bow habits. Just going to sneak through here and try and murder everyone I can. There's another landmine in front of that door too. So hopefully find myself another workbench or something. Oh there's, a, oh, there's a pelican all the way out there flapping about, waiting for his opportunity to come and peck out my brains. Not that there's very much of it to be pecked out. I don't think those give you anything good, do they? Not that I particularly remember. There's a Muppet jumping over fences over there, just practicing for hurdles. Never mind. I'll quickly just double check this one. Because I think maybe it might give me forged iron. Or maybe just electrical parts. It's doing... Oh, forged steel. Well, if it goes the same way as the other ones, maybe I just have to like, break down all the body lampposts around the place and get some more out of it. Not a lot of other options. Although, <gasps> weren't... Oh, there's broken vending machines over there. I know that they give me good stuff. I'll test this one. Nope, no forged iron. Never mind then. I'll go to the vending machines then. Screw you. I'm gonna go get a Snickers out of the fucking vendos. You can't bloody stop me. Although this idiot might try. Put down the light so I can see. Come over here. Don't castrate yourself on the rusty iron. I'll castrate your noggin though. There you go. Dip your chips and carry on our way. Yep, definitely a broken vendo. Put down the light. My gooch is getting swampy, but don't care about that right now. Get your stamina back up, please. Old matey pro tady. There's work to be done. No use faffing about and waiting for ya. Surely, surely I'll get what I need out of this one. I've got good stuff out of Vendos before. Mechanical parts and polymers. It's not going particularly fast, which is rather frustrating. There we go. There's some forged iron and some forged steel as well. So I've got this one, and I'm pretty sure that one over there is broken too. Someone's mad at me somewhere. Don't particularly care though. I need for one thing and one thing only. Let's take like every ounce of useful material I can out of something that fat kids used to shove up against. There we go. It's gone. It gave me everything I need for the two wheels that I need. So thank you. Get you on the go. I will take my torch back and I'll head on across the streets. The whole like hot weather thing isn't particularly doing me any favors, but that's what we're pushing on. Here we go. Put you down just outside. Oh, you're working. Well, that's unfortunate. All right, never mind then. I guess I'll leave you there. If I try and take a swipe at you, I will get my nads zapped off. Another painkiller. Now I have a fat stack of painkillers on me. Oh, damn it, we're also gonna find some iron there. That was all the iron to make those two bloody wheels. Oh, some lockpicks. That's actually pretty fucking good. Thank you very much. Let's put you there and keep that as a seven. Anything else around here I can use? I don't think so. The light poles give me steel. I need iron though. Where else can I go? That's a big fucking buck. That's a real big fucking buck. Oh, try and line it up, Josh. Oh, 
my lord. Tickle all me jibs. Where'd I hit you, Sunny Jim? Where'd I fucking hit ya? Show me the arrow. The arrow's gone. That must have been a headshot to drop you like a sack of shit that you are. Oh, I'm a happy lad. I'm a fucking happy lad. Gotta mount your fucking head on me walls after I slurp your brains out for any extra goodness I can get because you don't waste a kill. Oh, fuck yeah. I'll have to go back and check the uh, and check the footage to see where I did actually hit that deer. Cause I don't think I hit it in the head, although I like to think that I did. That was fucking risky as nuts. But we made it in here anyway. Search a couple of boxes. Give me, ooh, tech junkie. Uh, to, to this week your hydraulics increase the fire rate of robotic weapons by ten percent. Nice, nice, nice. Not what I needed, but I'll take it anyway. Just need some forged iron, lads. If you got anything for me? Give me that. I'd very much appreciate it. Bullets are great. Forged iron is, well, also great. Not better, I suppose. That's not a landmine. Any pistol uh, purses? No, just some steroids that I definitely won't need ever fucking again. Hmm. Okay. Oh, someone's awake. Someone's mad. That's fine. Now. Let's go to the roof to avoid those landmines. No one up here. Good. Any way I can get through this place without having to, like, tickle my giblets again, run them across those explosives that threaten to, like, separate my limb from limb is good by me. Nothing else particularly fun in here. Check the loo though. Never know when someone stashed a gun in the toilet. It's a pretty sketchy fucking mechanics place. So I feel like it'd be a pretty good shot of it. No, nope, nothing there. Check the bag. Check the cabinets. Check it all. Any food would be lovely too here. No, nope, it's all empty. That's fine. Something sneaky back here. I've already gone around like most of the place, I suppose, and checked some of the things. Cardboard box. Nothing. Desk. Some slightly better pants that I don't currently have. You're better in both counts, so thank you very much. Don't even bloody need the pocket, but you know what? I'll take it anyway, just because, you know what? Jeans without pockets are super inconvenient. I don't know why anyone would ever make them. I feel sorry for anyone who has to put up with jeans without pockets. It's feeling like half the population of the planet with that one. Doesn't make any sense to me. Really bloody doesn't. Let's throw that away. No, throw that away, please. Scrap that. And also scrap that to take up inventory space. Come on. I know I'm not going to find, ooh, sneaky bookshelf, painted like brickwork, tempered blade schematic, bicycle chassis schematic, going to save myself a point, although I wouldn't be able to make the wheels or the handlebars, and a sneaky safe. Do I get, do I get forged iron from safes? Is that the way that I should be doing it? I'm not sure. I don't know, but I'll give it a try. We'll see what happens. Worst that happens, I find some other good stuff. Got some more lockpicks to go though. Let me in, please. I mean, I'm fine with that. Oh, give me... Oh, come on. Last one. Last one. Give me zeros. Give me zeros. Give me zeros, pretty please. I want it. There we go. Thank you very much. What's inside? Oh, tier four blundy boy. A tier fucking four blundy boy. Yes, buddy, please. Let's take all of you out of there. Thank you for your service. We've had to be turned into scrap. <laughs> Changed over for the new shinier version. Very, very lovely. Nice. I don't think after breaking down like almost half of this bloody safe. I don't think it's actually going to give me any forged iron. Please don't touch the lead. What did I tell ya? What did I tell ya? I even started saying, please don't touch the landmines, but no, she wanted to, like, dip her chip. She wanted to, like, munge her clunge all over that fucking landmine. That's a horrific saying. Where did that come from, Josh? I don't even know. Might have to bleep that one out rather unusually. But she wanted to get all sorts of jiggy with those landmines. And, hey, just like the other thing, she sat on, uh, fucking exploded everywhere. So, fair play to ya. But... Still no fucking forged line, like, at all. All right, this place is a bust. Never mind, then. The entrance is slightly more open than it once was. Let's get out of here. Would there be maybe a workbench or something in this one? I've got to find the bloody forged line. I just have to do it. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to be looking. I don't know. I'll have a quick little gander about it. I'll have a look inside. There's probably some sort of table in there that's either working or not. But if I can find one of those, I might be in business. But for the moment, I'm a little bit banana. I don't have especially high hopes for this place. I don't really remember it off the top of my head, but I'm living in hope anyway. Some food. Thank you very much. I'll take both of you and I'll scrap the cans. Don't need feathers. I don't even want to freaking have them anymore. There's my wheels, my all important wheels. Don't need paper. Got one forged iron. So how far shy are we at the moment? I think we're five. That's not how you do it. I think we're five shy. Bicycle handlebars. I have the means to make those. I just need the workbench. Yeah, I'm four shy. Okay. Four more forged iron. I can hopefully do that. Let's put some light down so I can see because there are Muppets asleeping. 
That's right though, it's just you. I don't mind too much. Stad, god, the game looks cool. With all the shadows being thrown by the torches and stuff. It's a whole new different kind of game. But I'm pretty sure there's more Muppets around here. Anyone in here? No. Sneaky ammo pile though. What you got for me? 21 bullets. No one waiting for me in here either. I was hoping for some sort of workstation, but it's not looking like I'm going to get my way today. Another safe. Only got one lockpick. What are the odds? What are the odds? I'm going to give it like 100 to 1. 150 to 1 even. Because whenever you try and pick a lock with one lockpick, the game almost never gives you that Sunday split. It always tells you to go jump off the nearest bridge, except in this fucking case, but it lets you fuck it in there. What have you got for me? Tier 2 bone knife. I'll scrap you to repair my other knife and take the bullets. That's a good fucking day, lads. Oh, a pistol schematic. Interesting. That opens up another avenue for me to maybe make myself a pistol. Full automatic mode. I mean, sure, it doesn't really help me, but I'll take it anyway. Search everything else. Yeah, nah, yeah, bloody nah. We're good. Usually something secret in here. I know there's lots of concrete around in a lot of places, but it's not really what I'm aiming for right this very second. Janitor's cart, some nails, and hop seeds. Got that, oh, it's got that back home. I'll take it anyway. Janitor's cart wouldn't give me any iron, would it? I can't imagine it would. Oh, uh, Josh! That one extra swing costs you so much. You muppet. All right, whatever. We'll keep on moving on, though. Probably some more Muppets in here. Yes, there definitely is. Everyone, please come back down here where I can see you all. We're going to have a lovely dance in the torchlights. Please don't blow up the car. Please don't blow up the freaking car, you Muppets. That's going to be really bad for everyone if you do that. All right, fine. That's how you're going to play. Put you down. And put down your friend as well. Wait for it. I'll take out your bloody knees. I have to. This guy's in the fucking driver's seat. He's going for a little duck around the corner. Going around to the shops. Bonds are mate level 9, one skill point to spend. God, I just want to kill you guys. Get down here. There we go. That's what I was hoping for. Destroyed workbench, despite being destroyed, is still super valuable to me. I'll scrap you. Thank you for nothing. In fact, I can probably keep both of those. I actually go sell to trade a potato for a pretty penny. Come on. There's one. This is what I was after this whole body time. It's late in the day. There's two. I need two more. There's one. Sure, this is giving all that I need. There it is. We finally have all that I was after to finally make myself the fucking bike. It's been a while, but we got there in the end. But I could have made everything out of one workbench. I mean, nice computer. I hadn't known that before. In fact, wasn't there in this place real quick if I take the torch with me? Search all the toolboxes as well. <gasps> and a claw hammer. That will come in handy later on when I need to make myself my own bloody workbench at home. That's really bloody good. I'll eat the dog food because learning elixirs are so far off the table at this point. It's something worth thinking about. More hop seed. Don't know why this place is apparently a beer farm, but there you go. Some soup as well. Nice, nice, nice. Getting all my fluids and stuff back up again. There's also a, um, a passing gas crate. Tier 3 bone knife, got the tier 4, never mind then. Scrap both of you. There's the a passing gas crate down under the floor, isn't there? I'll go check that once I'm done here. Wasn't it like... Oh, get out of there. Wasn't it like under here? Yes, it is. There it is. What you got for me? You know what? If you just want to be a lad and just give me a bike, I'll accept. Or just like the chassis, all the handlebars, I don't mind. Give me something worthwhile, would you please? Gas can recipe. Well, it wasn't something I've read before, so it's still worth something to me. Not as much as I was hoping. Try and hit that shot over there. It's a bit risky. Oh, but I nailed it anyway. See, sometimes the hitboxes are like, yeah, but how about now, mate? And other times the hitboxes are like, hey, you want to nail that sweet shot through like a bunch of obstructions and actually kill someone for a change? I'm like, oh, yes, please. And it actually gives it to me, which is always a welcome change. Murder you too. There's definitely some Muppets waiting for me over there, but that's less of a problem. It's nice and bright now as well. Let's just try and wake him up. Hello? There you go. There you go. Come out here. Tell my arrow back out of you. Is it just you? Is that everyone's coming for me? If that's so, then I'm okay with that. Dip my chips in you as well. And then we came here for the iron, but we're leaving with the loot, which I'm very okay with. Some more bullets out of you. Reinforced chest. What have you got for me? Another hood. Triple storage Pokemon that I don't need anymore, which is kind of lovely. Um, and in fact, let's go like this real quick. Let's swap over you. In fact, let's just like piss that one off. Mm, I could put that into something and sell it for more money later on. So I'll just put you into there to save for later. What am I wearing on my nips right now? Tier 3? Have a tier 4 instead, lad. Happy days! Working this box had some bellows and a stone shovel. So I'll scrap that for the stones. If I just threw them away somewhere. There you are. Pick up you so I can quickly re uh, repair you and repair you. And we are done and ready to go. 
I wanted to go back to that house, um, where was it? Was this a tradies, wasn't it? This one here, to see if it was going to fix itself up again. But I'll probably do that tomorrow. But now, where was it? was over that way? It was in the garage over that side, wasn't it? All right, let's go over there. Let's go and finally get our bloody bike on the go. Ooh, sneaky book in a dumpster. To 20% extra damage to knock down or stun opponents. Thank you. The sun's come up. The sun's gone down. That's right. It's another night. We're finally going to get a bike. A bike in the first week. It's not like what I normally manage to do because I'm usually a Muppet. But I feel like that's a good bar to know what you're up against. Close the door behind me. Just make sure no one surprises me. And workbench. Bicycle. Chassis. Craft. Handlebars. Crafts. And finally, make sure I've got my wheels on me still. Yes, I do. There they are, just there. The most valuable things in my inventory right now. Once those are done, make myself the bicycle and ride on back home. Oh, what a productive day. What a productive week this has been. Considering how hard it is to run around with knives at nighttime with fast zombies and scary things and bears and direwolves and screamers and all sorts of nightmares cruising about making my life difficult. I feel like I've done a lot. I feel like I've actually played this about as well as I could have done. I'm actually really happy with how this series is going right now, which... Knock on wood, because that definitely means I'm going to bin it pretty soon. Three more seconds and I get everything that I've wanted for so bloody long. Boom. There it is. I probably need the, um, I need the bandages too, actually. Let's swap over for that one. Although I'm still going to get it right back again, aren't I? Let's put you down just like out here. There we go. Bow back in. And wham, bam. Thank you, buddy, ma'am. Up over the fence. No, come on. Get your bunny hop skills in order, you bloody clown. All right, that's just embarrassing. That has not gone anywhere near how I needed it to. I rode my bike three feet and bloody crashed it. Because of course I freaking did. Let me back again. <clears throat> hey guys, look, I totally made it over the fence. Oh, what a sweet jump that was. Call me fucking Evil Knievel. But we have our bike. We can now move around the world just a little bit easier, that little bit better, a little bit awesomer. Oh, I'm happy with that. I am bl very bloody happy with that. Let's just leave you out here. I'm going to jump on you later. And I should be far enough away that zombies won't get caught on you. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, down we go. Back in my little hovel of dreams. Close that behind me. How you doing, house? How you been since I was last inside you? Oh, good. I also have the means and the ability to make myself some more storage. Storage container. Make three of those. Thank you very much. You can go back in there. Oh, man. It's all coming up, Josh House. Got rid of the cabinet at the bottom, which I can now put all of this stuff back into, except my wrench and my wood. Thank you very much. In fact, that one, now that it's all rideable stuff, let's go medical. That why was that why was that a small L? Everything else was capitalized except that one. Sure enough, there you go. Is my caps lock on? Yes, it was. That was really confusing. This one is ammo and tools, I suppose. Rules, tools. There we go. Ammo and tools. This one is mats, and the top one is food and stuff. Well, just food, actually. Food and uh, water. Yeah, sure. We know what that means. We know what that means. That means fluids. That one's empty. That one's empty. You can go back into there. My bloody wrench can stay with me. Oh, that one's kind of balked, so let's get that one instead. Got wrenches to choose from. Feeling good about this. Feeling bloody happy. Where did that bloody hammer go? You're in there. Don't know why you should be. In fact, you know what? You guys should all be in the tools box. You're in the wrong place. Uh, any other tools in here? Not really. Okay, never mind. You can all go into this one then. Keep you all out of the way of my more important stuff. Ammo tools. Can I have a third line maybe? Can I go armor? Nope, never mind. Never mind. Doesn't write how I wanted that too. So it's going to stay like that. At least we will know how it goes. But... Oh, what a big day. What a big day. We've got our bike. We can go back and check the um that little like loot house next to Tradies tomorrow before the horde. But tomorrow is coming in to horde night. It's only a day seven horde, not traditionally the hardest thing in the world, but my um my game stage is actually reasonably high for this early. Game stage 16, killed almost 200 zombies, so it's actually been pretty bad. Plus, I'm rolling with blundies and knives, so I'm looking a little bit iffy at the best. Bit of an old question mark, if I don't say so myself. But I'll have to come back and try and get the better of that punctuation in the next episode, because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like to make sure the like button down below, subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.